What's up everybody and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos or been in front of the camera like this, but I missed the Wednesday video because I had an accounting exam, but I needed to make this video mostly because I needed to make a video, but also because the trailer for Castlevania Nocturne came out. And I know I'm a little late on that, the, the few days, a little more than a week, but that's okay. If you haven't seen Castlevania, first of all, you need to go watch it. It is a fantastic series that if you haven't seen, I highly, highly recommend, especially if you're a fan of vampires. You don't need to be a fan of the video games at all. In all honesty, I've never played any of them, but I love the series. You don't need video game knowledge to go and watch it. I would just suggest you go watch it. You like vampires? Cool. You like action? Cool. You like animation? Cool. Go and see it. It is one of the best American anime I've ever seen, mostly because there's not a lot of them. But the full trailer for Castlevania Nocturne has come out, and I just have to say that it looks incredible. Again, from the animation, to the story, to the action, it looks like it's gonna be another solid series by this team, and I just can't wait. If you want to see vampire fighting with superpowers, go and watch this. If you want to see vampire fighting with magic, go and watch this. If you want to watch a dark tale that's going to be full of a lot of probably heartache and grief, definitely go and watch this. Because this series is following Richter Belmont, Trevor Belmont, and uh, oh my gosh, what's her name? Sypha's son. <laughs> I'm not going to put that whole pause. It is following Richter Belmont, Trevor, and Sypha's son from the... <coughs> <clears throat> it's following Richter Belmont, Trevor and Sypha's son from the first series, which again, if you haven't seen, please go and do yourself the favor and go watch because this is one of the best series that Netflix has ever put out, hands down. You don't even have to be a fan of anime or animation to like this. It's just a great story. And my prediction for this season is it's going to be another great story. Set, of course, in a later time. It looks to be set during about the French Revolution at least everybody's dressed like pompous French people. Maybe some British people. I don't know. I don't know when it's set. All I know is it's going to be incredible and it's going to be fantastic. The one thing I have a question about is who the is who the girl with the magic is. Hopefully that's like his sister and it's not just a, kind of a redo of the first series where it's a Belmont and then another just magic wielder and they fall in love and yada yada yada. Mostly because I've seen that story. It's not that I wouldn't want to see that story again though. It's just that we we just saw that story so hopefully it's like a sister cousin i don't know all i know is the series looks incredible the villainous looks like it's gonna be really good especially because i mean it looks like it's gonna be an all-out war i know the last series was kind of an all-out war at least the last season was but realistically this this is more of a really united front of vampires hopefully versus a united front of humans i think that would be highly interesting and i just can't can't wait to see it. Again, the animation looks incredible. The powers look incredible. The combat looks incredible. It's just, I'm so excited for this, especially because it's not like they're doing a season a year. They're really taking their time, it seems, to flesh out an actual story. How long we'll have to wait for season two? I don't know, because from the first season, it kind of felt like, well, from the first season, it, it seems like it was a test to see if anybody cared. And then they gave you the second half of the first season. But then the other two seasons, because of the reception felt like they had written it, they had wrote it all at once and just needed to animate what they needed to animate for the next seasons. If they're doing this for this season, hopefully this season's a little longer in the sense of more than just three seasons. I mean, if that's all that they need to tell the perfect story, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because one thing that I really enjoyed about the first series is that they didn't drag it out more than they had to. It was the right length that they needed to tell the story that they wanted to tell so hopefully we get something similar but hopefully this story is a little longer mostly because i'm just selfish and i want more of it because it's just that good so if you're a fan of the castlevania series if you watched the first series and i assume you're gonna watch the second one let me 
know what your thoughts of the trailer were. I think it looks fantastic. I'm not doing any big breakdowns and whatnot. I'm just coming on here really to tell you that I'm excited. I'm going to watch it and you're going to see reviews of this show by me. And if I could stop bumping into my mic, that would be fantastic. But let me know if you're going to watch it in the comments down below. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully that will be this Wednesday. I do have a review. I do have a recommendation that I want to get out. Let's just, let's see how much homework and assignments and possibly tests that I have to do this week. We'll see. I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Check out the podcast. Links to merch and everything else are in the description. Other than that, I will see all of you in the next one.